Branton and Clearance is, a, is kind of an interesting lab to run because it, you kind of do it in a different way. So first of all, let's talk about the value for creatinine clearance. Normal creatinine clearance is going to be about 80 to 120. And it actually does decrease with age. So for each decade after 40 years old, that number will decrease by six or so. Your normal range that you'll probably want to know for testing and just for your general range in your head would be about 80 to 120. So first of all, we got to remember what creatinine clearance is. Creatine is used in muscles, right? Our skeletal muscle throughout our body needs creatine to, to do what it needs to do. As creatine is used, a small portion of that will become creatinine. That creatinine then travels to the kidneys where it should be excreted by the urine. Now we use creatinine clearance to determine, to get a very precise measurement of how well the kidneys are working. Okay, and so the creatinine clearance test, it really just measures a blood sample and a urine sample to determine the rate at which kidneys are clearing creatinine from the blood. And this really helps to accurately give us a very good number for our GFR, our glomerular filtration rate, um, based on body surface area. But we really need this test to help us kind of determine what's going on. So we'll take our blood creatinine and then we'll do our creatinine clearance test. Now with the creatinine clearance test, what we're doing is really trying to estimate nephron damage, estimate total renal damage, and estimate our GFR. What is generally ordered by, by the provider is a 24-hour catch of urine. Okay, so you'll collect a, ur a urine sample over 24 hours, and that urine sample needs to be kept on ice. So usually you'll have like a urinal, and every time the patient voids, it goes inside that container and that's kept on ice. If the patient has a Foley, you need to keep the Foley bag in ice, make sure you have a clean Foley bag and everything. And then we're going to keep that sample for an entire 24 hours. When the patient voids first thing in the morning, we throw out the first sample and then we begin to collect for the next 24 hours, every bit of urine uh, that the patient has in order to help us get a, a very precise measure. So some of the things that are going to cause an elevated creatinine clearance are gonna be things like acute tubular necrosis, dehydration, diabetes, glomerulonephritis, hypothyroidism, polycystic kidney disease, renal artery atherosclerosis, uh, renal artery obstruction, renal disease. So we're really looking, we have an increased level, we're really seeing that we have issues with our kidneys, okay? Uh, decreased levels, we're going to see decreased creatinine clearance in things like hyperthyroidism, leukemia, anemia, uh, shock, paralysis. So we really could see these decreased levels for these types of things. I really, what I want you to understand overall with this is, is we're going to do this as a 24 hour catch. We're going to collect all the urine and we're really just trying to monitor renal function and determine how well the kidneys are clearing creatinine. And the normal lab value that you should keep in mind for this will be about 80 to 120, keeping in mind that this value will decrease with age.